Soviet thoughts, some from Harvard. Thank you very much for moving these hearings, and I'm sure that it is an uh, evidence of your desire uh, to listen to the voice of the citizens of Vermont. Um, much of what I wanted to say has been said very eloquently already, so please bear with me as I stumble through my chicken scratchings here. I'm a seed saver, <clears throat> and I am, have done that for the past 20 years. So I am deeply disturbed by any technology that messes with the essence of the seed, altering it in a way that would never happen outside the laboratory. It is very important to know that this entire technology is based on a false assumption. The assumption being that a gene has one function, a discrete, a distinct function, and that, the fun that function does not change regardless of the environment that it is in. There is an emerging science called epigenetics, which is increasingly demonstrating that genes function in the environment that they are in. Now, what this means, as far as genetically engineered crops and foods is concerned, is that once these genes are moved from uh, one species to another, and that is exactly what happens, uh, crossing all natural boundaries, we, we, <coughs> excuse me, we cannot predict what that gene will do in the new environment. It is impossible to predict that. This means that novel toxins can be produced, novel allergens, novel proteins. We simply do not know. The only studies that exist are those that were funded by the industry, and I think we can um, we know that those are biased. So I urge you, this is an opportunity to demonstrate courage and wisdom and leadership, and I ask you to please pass this bill without a trigger. Thank you very much.